the Woodlands Maiden is next, and this is the first of the long distance ones. It's two and a quarter miles, this one. And the top one is Big Slick, Mike Westwood. Dimension of Time, Joshua Southern, Dutch Ford, Nick Driver, Frosty Saga, Kevin Minahan, Hangu Leary, Vinnie Gerard, McBurney Empire, John Morgan, Melancholy Cove, Leon Van Rensburg, Bash Asher, T. Rogers, Divine Prospect, Alex Cherry, Fiddler's Adage, Graham Clutterbuck, Granite, James Shea, and a Starlight Matilda. Darren Thompson, so just 12 this time. I should be able to get them all named in this one. Uh, two and a quarter miles, just 12 of them. And away they go. The Grey McBurney Empire was quickly out, but they sorted themselves out through the first furlong or so. And a long way to go for these, and it looks like Bash Ash Ash. <laughs> Bash Ash Ash is going to be the one to take them along. Gets across to the rail and is in the lead. So Bash Ash it is, or Bash Ash He's in the lead by about three lengths. And to Divine Prospect in second in those orange sleeves. The grey McBurney Empire is third on the rail. Just tucked in behind that one is Big Slick. And a little bit of a gap back to Hangu Leary, who's on the inside. Frosty Saga the grey. And just in behind them. Dimension of Time and Melancholy Cove. And Fiddler's Adage is after that one. Dutch Ford and Granite. And Starlight Matilda. Wide on the track, probably just the back marker. Past the winning post then, with another circuit of this Ascot track to go. And Bash Ashar is the leader. By a good couple of lengths to McBurney Empire in second. And Divine Prospect is third. And running together, Hangu Leary and Big Slick. With the grey Frosty Saga just behind them. And a little clump. At the back, headed by a dimension of time with Dutch Ford. Just the back marker at this stage, but plenty of time to get a little bit further forward. And Bash Ashar is the leader. McBurney Empire. Bash Ashar is going to be going to take this one from the front. Burnie Empire second, Divine Prospect third. And then Hangulirium Big Slick. Towards my grandstand eventually, they're all going down the back straight and swindly bottom and everywhere yet. Bash Ashar is the leader. Oh, McBurney Empire and Divine Prospect. A big slick. Just moving up on the outside now. They take fourth from Hangu Leary and that little pack at the back. And they're merging with the rest of the field. With the exception of Bash Ashar, who's still got a couple of lead, but that one is now coming back to them as well. And they're jockey giving that one a breather. And Divine Prospect. Is at the head of the chasing pack with McBurney Empire the Grey tucked in on the rail. Dimension of Time is making a good forward move. Uh, also, Dutch Ford is beginning to swing around the outside as well. We need that fiddler's adage now, just the back marker, but it's probably only 10 lengths first to last. And Basha Shah, he's just being scrubbed along there with McBurney Empire and Divine Prospect ready to challenge. Starlight Media is also coming through as well. Might get one or two struggling for a run if they stay as boxed up as this once they start to swing towards home but Bash Ashar is only in the lead by about a neck now to McBurney Empire looming on the outside look at this Dutch Ford getting much closer to the lead but going a little bit wide and wider still is Leon Van Rensburg and Melancholy Cove Fiddler's Adage is just about the back marker Frosty Saga the Grey is also being pushed along a little bit and he's going to try and come wide round the turn as well but Bash Ashar has now been swallowed up by McBurney Empire and Hangu Leary. So McBurney Empire has gone for home, I think, then with two and a half furlongs to go. McBurney Empire by about a length to Hangu Leary. Dutch Ford up the centre of the track with Melancholy Clove. Bash Ashar is dropping away, but it's McBurney Empire the one they've got to get to. Hangu Leary is trying to battle. So too's Dutch Ford and Melancholy Cove. They race down towards the final furlong of McBurney Empire the Grey. He's still in the lead by length to Hangu Leary in second. In comes Melancholy Cove and Dutch Ford. Starlight Media, it's still McBurney Empire. Half a foot on the go, and he's going well in the lead. This leader, it's McBurney Empire the Grand. This could be a debut win, and past the post, it's McBurney Empire. Takes it to Hangu Leary second, then Melancholy Cove and Dutch Ford. The field will trail back to Big Slick. Uh, I think that might be one of the new trainers getting a day one win. Certainly shaking things up this SO7. Some returning trainers from many years ago. That's all winners already, and.
I'm pretty sure that's somebody new because they used to be Jim Murray's colours. McBurney Empire's taken it, and it's no, it's John Morgan. I'm oh, sorry, I just sound disappointed, John, but I thought that was a new trainer who took a win there. No, it's John Morgan who normally wins these long distance races, doesn't he? So, should have known better, really. Hangu Leary for Vinnie Gerard was second. Melancholy Cove for Leon van Rensburg third. Dutch Ford Nick Driver fourth. And Starlight Matilda for Darren Thompson was fifth.